Good morning everyone. Welcome to a new week, new chances, new opportunities and new charts. We've had a weekly close and in this morning video we're going to analyze Bitcoin. A short, short video as we've got the live stream at 8 p.m. Um, Central European time. Next to that I'll be um, live on Crypto Banter. Uh, which is going to be around six for me, I guess and um, Some other live content coming up. I might be doing an interview today might be writing an article today again So lots of stuff But first a slight update on the markets Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram if you want to stay tuned what I'm doing in my life but um, yeah, what the market is doing at this point, you can see that we've got many lines at this point through which I'm going to erase them. Um, I find it quite nice to uh, start over all the time with the charting. Actually, the levels are still the same. Um, weekly level, we broke above and we closed above. So the crucial area is still the area around 19k in general. Daily time frame, we still have the 16k level, which is the fractional level that we should be holding and we've got um i will just erase it so we can keep the uh, charge going and we've got the 19.5k level which has to used to be resistance in this zone here so what we do have is that we've got this um range resistance high we've got this range resistance low which is currently holding so we are acting inside this small range here um, and we're looking like we're going to make that breakout to the upside as we just flipped 19150 um, Only question here is that we do not have much volume in this overall period uh, Which is kind of tricky But if we look at the chart and we look at the lower time frames We can see that we have made a top structure above the range resistance We failed to break above resistance which caused this test of the range low um, and since then we flipped this 19k zone Which was a support previously and resistance here So that's the flip we did Causing the price to continue moving towards the range high However, lower highs um, Or at least two lower highs Which means that this zone is still the crucial breaker to break through If we do break through 19.4 to 19.5 um, I'm generally expecting a new all time high and then I'm expecting us to take the liquidity above the high here and then the concept goes on again if we get the breaker above the all-time high fail to break above the all-time high and reject previous highs I think we're going to copy paste the movements we've had here and you should be aware that any of these cases are still the two scenarios that I'm watching so case one is that we're going to consolidate a little bit more inside this range through which we have 16k as the range low and 19 and a half as the range high uh, overall draining the volume down as you can see here until the building of bands and the volatility starts to decrease through which the breakout occurs at a later stage second case is that we start to consolidate here which is uh, comparable to this period here and then have one further correction towards the previous high in summer 2019 which is around 14k which has to be done through a bounce of the DXY if this one is going to break back up and run towards 92 points I do expect the corrective move of uh, Bitcoin to occur and Euro dollar obviously to correct a little bit more however these are the two scenarios that I'm watching at this point and on the lower time frames we know that we've got these zones here so we've got the crucial breaker between 19.4 to 19.5 and a half if that does not break we are constructing another lower high here and we're going to see the test of 18.6 again given that we are going to test that for the third time or fourth time already it's very likely that we're going to fall through and then I'm assuming that we're going to get that uh, drop towards 17k or even 16 low um, if we do get the breaker above 19 and a half I think we are going to have a continuation towards a where you at there you are uh, we're going to have a continuation to uh, probably 21 20 half to 21 that's the target zone that I do have if we do make that breaker 
Um, so yeah, that's basically the view at this point. We do have some CME gaps as well. We can see that there's one, two, nineteen, one here, um, smaller one, and we've got the large one at two seventeen k. Overall, the period is that we are in range resistance, which means no entries until gain of the level, um, no shorts until confirmation as well. So uh, yeah, range bound construction and a waiting game until volatility starts to kick in. That's my update for this morning. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check me on uh, and subscribe on YouTube. I'll be back tonight at 8 p.m. Central European time with the live stream.